Ugh, my ears. I'm sorry to assault you with this the first thing. Is it the morning? Uh, I'm sleepy. Did I go to sleep that late last night? I have to stop my alarm. How did you get home? Like, from last night? I reached out to stop the alarm clock as usual. It's too bright. I try to cover the light with my hand that's coming through the let that's coming through between the curtains. Oh, is it really a morning? Yes, one singular morning. Then I remembered something. I'm a human again? I jumped out from the bed and checked myself. I was back to normal again. I'm wearing my clothes too. That's convenient. <laughs> It looks like I haven't changed and went to sleep directly after I came back from work. Was I dreaming? But it's too real to be a dream. When I looked at the clock for a moment... Oh no, it's already this time? I have to rush now, otherwise I'll be late. I quickly prepare and left my place. Thank you very much! I sent off a customer from the shop. Phew! I'm glad I made it. I was about to be late. I was able to make it just in time, but... That customer was the last one for now. So I hope I can relax a little bit. Someone came into the shop just when I was, I was thinking of relaxing. Hello! It wasn't a customer who entered the shop. Oh, Mr. Fujimoto. Hello. I remembered about yesterday and bowed towards Mr. Fujimoto. Uh, um. What is it? Um, thank you very much for helping me the other day. It was nothing. I thanked him again and he was reacting the same way as before. They are, they're referring to like the prologue where she mentioned that Mr. Fujimoto was helped her against like a drunk dude. But not 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 this recently when she was help, helped as a cat. What should I do now? As I stood there feeling awkward, Takuma came up from the back of the shop. Hi Takuma! Oh hey Miss Oh, Mr. Fujimoto, how are you? I heard about last night. Takuma opened the newspaper and showed it to him. Oh god, the rustling of paper. It says you've caught a serial burglar last night. Is that the guy that Mr. Fujimoto caught last night? I heard from a customer, but you caught this burglar, right? Um, yeah. That's amazing. The guy had a knife in his hand. It's not that amazing. It's my job. Even if that's your job, it's not an easy it's not easy to do. I told Mr. Fujimoto without thinking too much. I think you should have more confidence in your work. I froze after I spoke. Oh no, I said it out loud. When I looked at Mr. Fujimoto, he looked back at me surprised. Oh, I'm sorry. I sound stuck up. That's alright. I have some patrolling to do, so see you later. Then he left. Sorry, gotta take a sip of water. I locked the door, so now I should go home and rest tonight. When I tried to walk home... Oh, what is this? I felt weird and something happening to my body, and then I felt dizzy. It wasn't a dream. I ran to the nearby alleyway. I'm a cat again. It wasn't a dream last night. Just as a black cat told me, it's a curse. I really hoped it was a dream last night. What should I do? Oh, choices. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go back to the police box, because that's where Mr. Fujimoto is. Well, 
what would he be doing right now? I remembered about Mr. Fujimoto. He gave me milk in his cup and told me he wanted to take me home, but I ran away afterwards. I remembered how he was during the day at the shop. He sounded slightly differently today. I'm curious what Mr. Fujimoto is up to at the police box. Since I'm turned into a cat, he wouldn't recognize me. I should go to the police box. I ran towards the police box. If I turn around there... When I was turning the corner, I bumped into someone's leg again. <laughs> Thud. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I heard that voice before. Mr. Fujimoto! I looked up surprisingly and there was Mr. Fujimoto, also a bit shocked. You're the one from the police box last night. As he said that, Mr. Fujimoto picked me up. I was looking at for you after I came back. I thought you went back home, but I guess you didn't. He looked at me again. I'm so glad you are safe. Ah, uh, I didn't think you were going to worry about me that much. Then I noticed something. Hmm? He's not wearing his uniform. Mr. Fujimoto wasn't wearing a uniform like during the day, and instead he was wearing his normal clothes. And your work? When I tilted my head, Mr. Fujimoto answered me. Oh, you don't recognize me because I'm not wearing any uniform. I was at the police box yesterday. I'm Sho Shogo Fujimoto. Just introduce yourself to a cat. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Mr. Fujimoto was being really polite to me even though I'm a cat. It was adorable to listen to. I was about to go home. That's why he isn't wearing a uniform. He looked at me seriously. So I'm still thinking about taking you home as promised you last night. What do you think? He remembered what he said at the police box yesterday. I thought he wouldn't remember what he said after chasing that guy. Mr. Fujimoto, you remembered. I was so happy that he even remembered a promise he made to a cat. Meow. I see. And then, shall we? What's this place like? Mr. Fujimoto started walking as I was imagining about his place. This is my place. There's nothing in the room but make yourself at home. Mr. Fujimoto left the kitchen after he spoke. This is his room. The curtains and bed are all navy and there's only the bare minimum things he needs. Actually, this is my first time in a boy's house. Mr. Fujimoto didn't seem to come back yet, so I went around his room. Um, <laughs> all of these seem very... I don't know, it's like, none of these seem like the obvious choice, but... The correct answer is the shelf? What kind of books does he read? I was curious, so I looked at the shelf. There were books about martial arts and books related to his work. I can imagine him reading these. There were books with book covers. <laughs> okay. What's this? I don't think it's about his work. I was curious, so I reached out to see, but the book fell from the shelf. Huh? Is this a photo of a book of cats? When it fell, the cover fell and there was a photo book of cats. Is he... <laughs> yes, his kinks is, is cats. Was there anything you like? M Mr. Fujimoto! He came back with a plate and a cup in his hand. This is for you. He placed them in front of me. 
What do you mean it's mine? I thought the cup might be difficult for you to drink. I don't know whether you like that plate or not, but... There was a warm milk- there was warm milk on the plate. And he had a cute pink flower pattern on it. This is cute! And it's a set with a cup that he has. Mr. Fujimoto has a navy cup with the same flower pattern as my plate. Is this a set? While I was thinking about that, Mr. Fujimoto started talking. Does it look weird for me to have this? I like cute stuff. No, I was surprised, but of course I understand now. You couldn't understand my words, so he continued. I I was told by someone today, I should be more confident about myself. That's... I think that's what I told him today. But why is he talking about me? Mr. Fujimoto struck my head gently when I looked up. Because of my personality and how I look. I've had kids and animals always running away. But I love cute things. I see. That's why he said that yesterday. I understood, so I thought about it for a while, but it's really difficult. Mr. Fujimoto looked troubled. I didn't know anything about this, but I feel bad saying what I said during the day. Aww. Cute. That's just a- that's just a plain cute picture. Meow. You don't have to change. You should be who you are. I can't talk, so I cried and rubbed my head on his foot. You are a weird cat asking me to pet you. Then he pet me more. His expression was softened. Phew. I think he looks more relaxed now. I found his expression comforting. Hello! Oh! It was Mr. Fujimoto entering the shop. He doesn't have a uniform on today. What? What's happening today? You have normal clothes on. It's... it's my day off, so... Mr. Fujimoto hesitate... Hesit I can't speak. Hesitatingly st standing and finally opened his mouth. I want to buy some flowers. Flower? Just one flower? Is it weird to have flower in my room? No, it's not strange at all. I told him the words I wanted to tell him last night. It's not strange to like flowers, even for you. I'm happy that you like flowers. I see. Mr. Fujimoto seemed less nervous now. Then, can I ask you to choose the flowers for me? Sure. I started to remember his room and made a bouquet for him. Yes, I did it. I made a bouquet using Dahlia. Even for a simple room, this will make it prettier. And I hope you'll be happier. I made this with my feelings. I hope Mr. Fujimoto will like this. And I tied a, na <laughs> I tied a navy ribbon at the end. Here! This is... Mr. Fujimoto went silent after he took the bouquet. Oh no, he didn't like it. I became really worried. This... this is really pretty. Huh? Did he say it's pretty? I mean, I really like this. I think this will make my room feel a lot brighter. R really? Yeah. I'm glad you liked this. I truly was so happy that he liked the bouquet I made. Um... If you don't mind, can you make bouquets for me once in a while? Sure, anytime. I answered his request with a huge smile.